Hello, here is another interesting problem on work done, okay? Now in this case, we have one man and two boys can do a piece of work in 12 days. Two men and three boys can do this work in 8 days. How long would it take a boy to do the work alone? So that's the kind of question which we have to look into, right? Again, just as our rate, you remember, if a man and a two boys can do a piece of work in 12 days, in one day how much work will be done? One twelfth of the work. Do you understand? That is the concept which we have to follow. Two men and three boys can do this work in eight days. In one day how much work will be done by then? One eighth of the work. Do you understand? How long would it take for boys to do, boy, for a boy to do the work alone? So let's assume that the boy can do the work in B days, right? Let's say, boy can do in B days, okay? And let's say, man can do in M days, okay? So we have defined our variables, correct? Now, we'll use the same strategy. One man and two boys can do a piece of work in 12 days. So say in one day how much? So if whole work can be done in M days, in one, one day a man will do 1 over M. And one boy will do 1 over B. In first case we have one man and two boys. So in one day, one man, I'll say 1 over M plus 2 over B is equals to, they completed in 12 days, so it will be 1 over 12. So that is how we get our first equation. Do you understand? The second one. Second says two men and three boys. So let's say two men is two over m plus three boys. So three over b equals to eight days. One over eight. You understand the concept? In one day, how much work will be done? So this is the equation which summarizes one day effort. One day work. Do you understand? That is what we that is how we make this equation. Now it's simple. Once you have the equation, then you can simplify. Now, how will you simplify this? You can do elimination or substitution, right? So here you can say what is 1 over m equals to, or you can multiply this by 2 to get everything in terms of, and then so let's do that. Multiply this equation both sides by 2. So I'll get this as 2 over m plus 4 over b equals to when you multiply, you get 2 over 12, which is 1 over 6. Does it make sense? So what I did was, I did actually, it was actually 2 over 12, so I simplified this and I wrote this as 1 over 6, okay? Correct. Now you look into these two equations, we got 2 over m and 2 over m, right? So, if I take away from here that equation, then my job is simpler. Let's say this is my equation number 1, and let's say this is my equation number 2, right? So, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to do 1, take away 2 equations, right? So, so this take away this is 0, 4b take away 3b is 1 over b, right? Do you understand? Equals to 1 over 6 take away 1 over 8. Does it make sense? 1 over 6 over 8. That's good. Now we can solve this. 1 over 6 over 1 over 8. What is the common factor here? 24, right? 24. 24 goes 4 times with 6 and 3 times with 8. Therefore, here it will be. To get 24, I have to multiply both by 4. So I get 4 here, right? To get 24, I have to multiply 8 by 3 and therefore 1 by 3, so minus 3. Does it make sense? So it is equals to 1 over 24. Do you see? Now, do you get the answer? How much time does a boy take to complete the work? 24 days. Do you see that? So when you flip it, you get b equals to 24. Correct? How long would it take a boy to do the work alone? So therefore, what is our answer? Boy alone can do the work in let's say alone 
in 24 days. Do you understand? So that's how we'll do such problems. Okay. So the trick part is just get to one day. That means kind of a rate. Okay. Convert to rate type of equations and then you can solve these problems very easily. I hope you get the concept and you feel confident of solving such problems. If you have any suggestions or any problems, please do write in the comments and I will be glad to answer them. Thank you.